In this video, we are going to learn how you can save Telegram messages to Airtable. So the idea here is that you are using Telegram as your instant messaging application. Now you want that whenever a new message is posted on a specific group in your Telegram account, then automatically the same message should be saved to your Airtable base as a new record. For that, you need to integrate Telegram with Airtable. So here your trigger application would be Telegram and your action application would be Airtable. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect? For that, you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Now if you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as save telegram messages to a table. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to save all our Telegram messages to our Airtable base. For that first, we need to integrate Telegram with Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Telegram Bot. Select the trigger event as set webhook or watch updates. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the token. So here the instructions are also mentioned. So by following these instructions, you can find the token from your Telegram. So I'll just take you to my Telegram account. So here we have to just search for bot father. Okay. And now we have to just click on restart bot. Now to create a new bot, we have to just type slash new bot. Now it is saying, all right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? We have to choose a name for the bot. So let us give the name as a table. Good. Let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in bot. Like this. So the example is also given that we have to give a username underscore and then the bot. So let us give it as a table underscore bot. Okay. Sorry, this username is already taken. Okay. So I'm just going to try for another username that is a table integration underscore bot. Okay. Let's check this. Okay, done. Congratulations on your new bot. So here we can see that a new bot is generated and here we have got the token. So I'm just going to copy this token and I'll be pasting it over here to create a connection. And now let's click on save. And now the telegram bot is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to just click on save and send test request. And we can see that it is waiting for the response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to create a new message in our Telegram bot so that the message can be captured over here. But before that, I'll just take you to my Telegram account once again. And here we are just going to create a new group. So just click on this particular button and click on new group. Now here we are going to add the members. So I'm just going to add a few members over here. And along with these members, I'm just going to add my bot also that we have recently created that is Airtable integration bot okay so here we can find Airtable bot we have to select the same now we have to give a name to the group so let us give it as Pabli connect group okay and now let's move to the group so here we can see that a new group is created Pabli connect group where we have five members over here so now you have to give the admin rights to this particular bot that is Airtable, which is not possible from my Telegram web. So I'm just going to use my mobile phone over here. Okay. So I've given the admin rights to Airtable bot over here using my mobile phone. It is very simple. You have to just move to the settings and from there you have to give the admin rights to the bot. Okay. So now we have just given the admin right. So let's move back to public Connect, And here we can see that the response is received. Okay. And here we have got the group name as public Connect group as chat, chat title. 
when we scroll down we can find the first name last name that is pably connect and here we have got the bot name okay and here we have got the username also so we can see that a test response is captured over here now to receive the messages we have to just click on this recapture webhook response button do you wish to recapture the response let's click on yes and now again it is waiting for the response so now we are going to create a new message in our specific group over here okay let's give the message as hello team we have a group meeting at 4 pm today okay i'm just giving a random message and let's post the message so here we can see that the message is posted now let's move back to public connect and now we can see that again the response is received and when we scroll down we have got the message over here the message text as hello team we have a group meeting at 4 pm today okay so now we want this message to be added to our airtable base so now we are going to integrate airtable with public connect so let's scroll down come to this action window and here choose the application name as airtable select the action event as create record click on connect click on add new connection and now it is asking for the token log into airtable and get your api from the account section so i'm just going to click on this hyperlink that is account and when we scroll down we can find the api key so if you want to regenerate it simply click on this regenerate api key button or else i'm just going to copy this api key from here and i'll be pasting the same over here to create a connection and let's click on save and now the airtable account is connected to public connect just because i was already logged into my airtable account so make sure before creating a connection you're logged into your airtable account now as we have created a connection here we can find all the bases that i have created in my airtable account so here i'll just take you to the base which i have already created that is telegram integration where i have created a table that is telegram to airtable where i am capturing the details that is the name date and time and the message of the telegram okay so now we are going to select the same base over here also in public connect that is telegram integration now as i have created a single table in this particular base the table name is automatically captured if you have created multiple tables from the drop down you have to select your specific table name now here it is asking for the name date and time and the message that needs to be entered in these fields so we have already got all these details from our response over here but uh, here we can see that the message date is in some time stamp format we haven't got the date and time over here for that first we need to retrieve the date and time from this particular time stamp so let's click on this plus sign to add an action step and now we are going to apply date and time formatter over here choose the application as date and time formatter select the action event as format date only click on connect now here we need to map the date that needs to be formatted so let us find the date from our trigger response that was message date and now it is asking from format so the from format will be the time stamp format so let us select the time stamp format over here and now it is asking to format in which format you want the date so we want the date in dd mm and yy format along with the time also and not the time zone okay so we have mapped the data now let's click on save and send test request and here we have got the date that is in dd mm and yy format along with the time so now we are going to map this date okay let's scroll down we have to just click on this connected button we are going to reconnect a table with public connect just because we have added an action step okay so let's click on connected select existing connection and click on save and the a table account will be automatically reconnected now here we'll be mapping the details let's uh, map the name from telegram bot response let us find the name over here that is pably as well as the last name also that was connect okay here we are going to map the date and time from date and time formatter and here we'll be mapping the message that we have got from our trigger response that is hello team we have a group meeting at 4 pm today okay and now let's click on save and send test request and here we can see the response is received it means the details are added to our airtable base let's check it we have to just refresh our airtable base okay and here we have got the name as pably connect date and time captured over here and the message as hello team we have a group meeting at 4 pm today so in this way we can see that our integration is working fine let's move back to public connect and now let us save this workflow first 
data save successfully okay so now we have set up an automation this is a one time process next time whenever you are going to post a message on your telegram account automatically the same message will be saved to your airtable base automatically so now let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not so let's move to telegram once again and here i'm just going to add a new message let's give the message as public connect is an automation and integration software okay so i've added a random message over here now we are going to check our a table base that whether the same message is added or not okay and here we have got the name as public connect once again here we have got the date and time and the message as public connect is an automation and integration software so here we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine okay now let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between telegram and public connect so that whenever a new message is posted automatically the details are captured in public connect then we have used date and time formatter just because we have got the date in the timestamp format so we have formatted the date in ddmm and yy format along with the time and then using those details we have created a new record in our a table specific base and in this way we have learned that how we can save our telegram messages to a table using public connect thank you so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using public connect in case of any queries you can visit our public forum to check the pricing details of public connect you can visit this particular url also the link of public connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone